Mm. Well, we had a tough go of it in that Jeopardy round. Let's see if we can do better in Double Jeopardy, shall we? Let's pop the dollar figures into the board. And Pizzle, you're going first of this round, and the categories for you to select from are A Galaxy of Stars, Scouting, NCAA Naismith Award winners, Soul Feud, and Let's Eat. Alright, Pizzle, go for it. Let's go with Let's Eat for 200? Uh, the amounts are double. Okay, yeah, for 400. When you take me out to the ball game, you better buy me these two treats. And that was? J Van. J Van. What are peanuts and cracker jacks? Of course, classic baseball treat. Your selection, J Van. Let's eat for 800. Giant brats, not the players' kids, are served at the meat packing company at this National Football League field. And that was? Steve. Steve? What is. Shoot. What is Green Bay? I'm sorry. Uh, we need the field. So Green Bay is incorrect. And who rang in just now? Okay, J Van. What is Lambo Field? Lambo Field, yes. I said that. 800, yes. Uh, go again, J Van. Wait, CV, CV, you did say that? Yes, I did. I, I, I said Lambo Field and everything went, went deaf. I didn't hear anything. Oh, okay, that's, that you are right then, Steve. Sorry about that. Yeah, I said you, I said um, the Green Bay Packers and you said the name of the field. And then I, I said, said what's Lambo Field? Steve is in the plus call of 200. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, Steve. I guess I heard wrong then. That's okay. No. Anyway, uh, well, this is the first show, after all. <laughs> anyway, uh, your selection, Steve. Let's eat 1,200. John Madden has popularized this, a boneless turkey stuffed with two other fowl. And that was? Pizzle. Pizzle. What is turducken? Turducken is right. And Steve is back in the plus call, and Pizzle is right. Yeah, everyone has money now. Everyone has money. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was wondering when that would happen. Uh, select, please, Pizzle. Uh, let's eat sixteen. This alliterative Chavez Ravine treat is a pork frank by Farmer John. Very popular in Los Angeles. Dodger dog. Pizzle, go again. The answer there is a daily double. Now, you have less than 2,000, so you can risk up to that much. Yes, 200 exactly. Oh, 200, so you can risk up to 2,000. Um, let's go 200. All right, so that would be, a, in other words, a true Daily Double. Here is your clue. Do you think they serve Goose at Tiffany's, this ex-Raven Lyman's New Jersey eatery? Um, what is Nathan's? No, Tony Siragusa. Oh, yeah. Tony Siragusa. All right, so you drop to zero, but you get to select. Pizzle. Take the balls. Yeah, we, lose, we lost Pizzle. Um, All right, Leaf, you want to select for him? Um, hang on one moment, please. Uh, how would you send window size? Show presenter view. Not right. Um. Screen. Screen. Um. Yeah, I guess I will. All right. We have Galaxy of Stars. Oh wait, we have Pizzle back. 
All right, Pizzle, your selection. Uh, what were the categories again? Okay, the categories we have left are Galaxy of Stars, Scouting, NCAA Naismith Award winners, and Soul Feud. Let's go with uh, Galaxy of Stars with 400. In 2007, this ballbender broke away from Real Madrid to join the Los Angeles Galaxy. And that was? Steve. Steve. It was David Beckham. Correct. You select. Galaxy of Stars for 800, please. This, dead, this dreadlocked Galaxy midfielder was an all-star in each of his first eight seasons. And it was Kobe Jones. Kobe Jones. Galaxy Steve? Stars 12, Galaxy of Stars for 1,200. This two-time Olympian and former Galaxy player became Los Angeles president became LA's president and general manager in 2006. And it was Alexi Lalas. Alexi Lalas. Steve? Now it's his star 16. Before joining LA, he scored four goals in the 2001 Major League Soccer All-Star Game as a 19-year-old rookie. Nineteen years old at the time, Landon Donovan. Damn it, I, right. Damn it. I believe he would have been. I believe he'd be thirty-one right now. Steve, go again. In two thousand two, this Pescadito led Los Angeles to the MLS Cup with a league leading twenty-four goals. <laughs> And we were looking for Carlos Ruiz. And no, I don't think this is the same Carlos Ruiz that that was on the Phillies. <laughs> It'd be funny if it were, though. Uh, Steve? Um, one more time, who are the categories? Uh, the ones we have left. Scouting, NCAA Nate Smith Award winners, and Soul Feud. Soul Feud for 400. He beamed my Piazza in July 2000, then came at him with a broken oh. bat in October. And that was? Steve. Steve? Who is Roger Clemens. Yep. Go again. Steve has four fingers. I remember that, by the way. Yeah, so do I. Um, feuds for 800. Answer there, the other Daily Double. Alright, Steve, you have 1,000. You can risk up to 2,000, though. Let's make it a true Daily Double. So you risk. Wait. So are you risking a thousand? Two thousand. Oh, two thousand. Okay, this will take you to three thousand if you are correct. Jockey Frazier carried on a family feud with a June two thousand seven bout against her. Can you repeat it one more time? Jockey Frazier carried on a family feud with a June two thousand seven bout against her. Uh, I think I know it, though. Well... It doesn't mean anything for me, but I just want to take a guess. Well, go ahead, Jayvan. Who is Layla Ali? Jayvan, you would have been right. But, Steve, you dropped to not minus 1,000. Your selection. Few for 1,200. Uh, we're done with the Daily Doubles, by the way. After losing a bet to this director and Knicks fan, Reggie Miller had to visit Mike Tyson in jail. Do I really want to take the shot? For us, yes. A frequent attendee of Nick's games, Spike Lee. Uh, Spike uh, Lee. Steve, go again. Uh, feud 16. Flyers GM Bobby Clark's feud with this center ended with a trade to the New York Rangers. And that would be Eric Lindros. Oh, shit. Steve. Oh, let's finish it off. After disparaging New York City in 1999, this Atlanta pitcher needed extra security at Shea. Uh, -oh. 
Probably one of the wildest pitchers ever to grace a baseball field. John Rocker. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. All right, Steve, where do you want to go next? Um, what's the other category besides the NCAA? Scouting. Scouting for Wonder. Oh, oh, stay there, board. Scouts roam this country looking for locals, like the next Sosa or Cano. And that was? J Van. J Van? Chicago? No, that's wrong. Oh, no. I really screwed up. Oh, I did. Yes. We needed the country, not the city. Oh, it was the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Oh, Dominican Republic. Yeah, we, we needed the country. Yeah, Steve, mean. go again. Uh, let's do NCAA for 400. Players from this school won half of the Naismith Awards from 1999 to 2006. And that was? Bates. Steve? What is Harvard? No, that's wrong. And who was that now? That was me. Putnam. What is Duke? Yes, now was the time for that. All right, your selection, Pizzle. Let's go with Naismith for eight. He won an award in 1979, but his team lost the title game to magical Michigan State. I'll take a shot. Okay. Hey, Pizzle. Pizzle. Who is... Larry Bird? You're right! Oh. Go again. Okay, Naismith 12. The first Frosh named Player of the Year was this forward, drafted by the Sonics in 2007. And that was? Bay. Okay, Steve? Was Kevin Durant? Yes, and for the record, they are now the Oklahoma City Thunder. So that, please, Steve. Um, NCAA for sixteen. Uh, yeah. Yes, sixteen, sixteen, please. For sixteen hundred, the two thousand five Player of the Year was the seven foot Croatian Aussie from Utah. Yeah, that was a first. Oh, the humor Mark brings to these games. Installation. <laughs> and we were looking for Andrew Bogut, who's had nothing but bad luck with injuries. Mm -hmm. let's, let's finish off uh, NCAA. In 2003, T.J. Ford won the award as he guided this school to its first Final Four since 1947. And who was that? Pizzle. What is Texas? Texas is right. 2000. 2000. All right. Four clues left, Pizzle, and they're all in the scouting category. Well, let's go scouting for four, uh, 800. This team hired Yasushi Yamamoto as full-time scout in Japan to find another Ichiro. That was? Bates. Steve. Who are the Seattle Mariners? Correct. You select. Scouting One word name for the national championship held for, for the national camp, excuse me, held for star NFL prospects each February. And that was? J. Van. J. Van? Was Columbine? Um, uh, Columbine. <laughs> oh, you know what? You're pretty close to what we're looking for. We'll give it to you. So it's the combine. Combine. Yeah, we'll give it to you. Go again. Let's go, uh, we have 16 and 2,000 left? Yeah, those are the last two that are left. Can I have 16 down uh, this? This Bulls great, number 33, was among the finds of NBA director scouting Marty Blake. If y'all don't get this one, I'm going to be upset. I'm sorry, Rodney. Oh, I don't know. I don't really don't know much about Chicago. Okay. Okay, now Rodney, I know you're not playing, but would you care to take a guess? Who is Scotty Pippen? Yeah, Rodney got it. It's Scotty Pippen. Pippen. All right, let's take a look at our last clue. 
He rose from scouting in the 1960s to general manager of the Redskins and Chargers. Mm. I think I know this. Is he a shot at it? No, I don't want to wait. <laughs> I don't know, that's too funny. And it was Bobby Beathard, or Bobby Beffert, however you pronounce that. All right, that's the end of Double Jeopardy. Leaf, our scores, please. After a major slump, everyone finished the Double Jeopardy round with money. Right. Yeah, how much do they have? Well, Steve is in third with 600 bucks. Okay. Jan is in second with 1200 and his looks are, actually has a pretty good lead with 3200 Okay. So, and so, so wait, okay, so Pizzle, let me input the scores here. Pizzle, 600. 3,200. Oh, 3,200. Oh, 3,200, okay. J-Van has 1,200. Steve has 600. Okay, and, J and Steve, 600, and JDD, 1,200. How much are they allowed to risk up to for the final? Uh, that for fu they all made it to Final Jeopardy on the positive side, so they can risk up to what they have. Alright. And now, our final Jeopardy answer is... You mean the category? Oh yes, we need the category first. And the... And they are... And the category is... Um... Uh, that's our final Jeopardy category. Wrong way. Wrong way. Yep. Yeah. Now, think about your wagers, and we will return with final Jeopardy after this.